celebrate your kindness. I celebrate your kindness. I celebrate your kindness. I celebrate your mercy. I celebrate your grace. Oh, thank you for counting me worthy of your call. Enna makoni makaza na mahande kele mo shara manana de. Era bakabala magos. Abada makabala na mana makabona kete malabada mana makabana. Enna makabala mana mana Thank you for counting me worthy to hear your voice, to partake of your promises. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for counting me worthy of your anointing. You anoint my head with oil. Thank you for anointing my head with oil.
changing me. Thank you for changing me. Thank you for calling me. Thank you for the words that you speak to me. Thank you for the life that is within me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you for your promises. Thank you for the things that you are yet to do. Because I have the delivery of them. I have the delivery of them. I have the delivery of them. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my God. I thank you for your promises. Thank you, Jesus. nations of the hearts, but I want us to be conscious of what we want to pray for. I know Nigeria is not the best of the nations on the face of the earth, but recently, two African countries, two different disasters struck. First, it was Morocco and the earthquake. I don't know if there's any nation that has the number of boreholes we have in Nigeria as a nation. And you know what that means? Naturally, it means that seismic activity should be more prominent in our land. I don't want to believe any other thing is keeping Nigeria from such that happened in Morocco other than the hand of the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. And the second thing, it was flood in Libya. And it took over 10,000 lives. Praise the living Jesus. Libya... Was, at least it might be a war-torn country, but it was a better country in terms of development than ours. Praise the living Jesus. I don't want to believe all of these things are just mere coincidence. And presently, the, the number of coups that have been happening in Africa recently, I'm not sure there's any country in Africa that is as corrupt. I'm not trying to blacklist Nigeria as Nigeria is, but yet, for your sake, my sake, God has held the hand of the the so-called men that could bring this nation into war has held them back. I want you to lift your voice tonight, uh, this afternoon and just say thank you to the Lord. Lord, for Nigeria, we say thank you. Rashataya balane molos over there. 
we look at the trajectory of this country and we see that it is you and you alone. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your hand over the nation, Nigeria. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the body of Christ in this land. Lord, we say thank you. Over Nigeria, we say thank you. Look at the goodness of God, even if it's just one over Nigeria. Lord, we thank you for this nation. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you'll accept our thanks and our praises. Lord, thank you for not allowing the counsel of the enemy over Nigeria to prevail. Thank you for keeping this nation in your love. Thank you for your faithfulness over Nigeria. If it has not been the Lord, would have become like Sodom who will have become like Gomorrah. Thank you that we are not consumed. Thank you for not allowing the counsel of the enemy to prevail. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you praise. Our God will give you glory. We honor you. We say your name be exalted. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Mighty name we have given thanks. Give me Ezekiel chapter 34. Ezekiel 34, I want us to read verse 16. Ezekiel 34, verse number 16. I will seek what was lost and bring back what was driven away, bind up the broken, and strengthen what was sick. I will seek what was lost. I will bring back that which was driven away. I will bound, bind up the broken. And I will strengthen what was sick. I want us to pray for Nigeria. And I want us to pray that the Lord will restore glory to Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. Said, uh, Praise God. Uh, four things mentioned there. The Lord would, And I want us to pray this way. The Lord will restore glory to Nigeria. The Lord will rebuild the strength of the Lord will rebuild the strength of this nation. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord will, will, will heal our values. Praise the living Jesus. That one stood out to me. That the Lord will heal the values, which is the soul. He said, I will strengthen what was sick in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. And the Lord will bring back the strength of this nation in the name of Jesus. Sir. Open your mouth and pray for Nigeria. The Lord, we ask, oh God, uh, that you will restore the glory of this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Lord, that which, are, which was driven away, Lord, you will bring back uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Sir. Let faithfulness be brought back to this nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Rekalane zuze bayata baladosia rekute badadia jarada ranemo sovelike teleborosia rekuli gadam barada bada 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 jenobele ketebele resetolo bedige yanda bayada bada bada rekobela manosha ateli ketuzeza resezemo nosha ateli benosha rekubela the Bosha. Lord, you will restore the glory of Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you will rebuild the strength of this nation. You will rebuild the influence of Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. The soul of this nation will be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Rekabayata anemose talabadabadabadia jarande buzovadie tuzadige bolosia. Come on, open your mouth and pray to the Lord. Lord, as your people 
people we bring the nation Nigeria before you we ask that you will restore glory back to this nation Lord you will strengthen Nigeria Lord you will restore the values of righteousness to our nation in the mighty name of Jesus let righteous men that were driven away be brought back in the mighty name of Jesus we ask that you will bring by the mighty men we ask that you will bring the mind of counsel back to Nigeria in the name of Jesus counsel shall be restored to this nation in the mighty name of Jesus Lord let there be a restoration of glory let there be a restoration of strength in the mighty name of Jesus Rasatala Manoshata let strength be restored back to this nation in the mighty name of Jesus Rose Zigahante Libenosa Jarante Lika Kubala Dabadabadea Russo the Hante Lord, let strength be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Let strength be restored in the name of Jesus. Let strength be restored in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want us to pray the concluding part of that verse. He said, then the, they said, they said, he said, I will restore what was sick, I will strengthen what was sick. But I will destroy the fat and the strong and feed them in judgment. I want us to pray everyone standing in the way of the will of God for his people and for this land. That Lord let your judgment be upon them. Praise the living Jesus. I know we are no MFM. I did not write the Bible. God said that we do this. There are certain things that God will do and certain people that needs to be taken care of for what God is doing to really be shown. Praise the, praise the living Jesus. I want us to pray that God, Lord, everyone that has stood on the, everyone that has caused Nigeria pain, everyone that has been feeding fat on the, on the strength and on the cries of Nigerians, Lord, we ask that you visit them with your judgment. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, will you visit them with your, I'm not saying you should kill them, but whatever the judgment of God is, let your judgment, oh God, be upon this nation. In the name of Jesus, everyone that has, that has been feeding fat, on the on the cries and on the wealth of your people everyone that has that has stand in the way of the goodness of God to the people and the nation of Nigeria we ask oh God that you will feed them in your judgment in the mighty name of Jesus we ask that your judgment will rest upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Lord, you will visit them with your judgment. You will feed them with judgment in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Give me verse 26 of the same chapter of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 34 verse 26. said, I will make them No, no, no. Praise the Lord. I'm looking for that place where it said it will cause white wild beasts to seize in the land. Give me verse 24. Okay, verse 25. It said, I will make them a covenant of peace. I will make a covenant of peace with them and cause wild beasts to cease from the land. And they will dwell safely in the wilderness. It's not as if the wilderness has stopped being a wilderness. What was a terror in the wilderness was not the wilderness itself. It was the wild beast. Praise the living Jesus. How many of us know that recently the cry for kidnapping and has gone down? Praise the living Jesus. But it can show that it shows to us that God can take it away completely. I want us to pray that everything called wild beast that is taking away peace in Nigeria, Lord, you will cause them to seize in the name of Jesus. There might be wild beasts in government. Lord, we pray today. Lord, as a people over Nigeria, that you will cause wild beasts. Caesar in the mighty name of Jesus Lord we pray concerning this nation that wild beasts cease from this land in the mighty name of Jesus it will no longer be an apple for beasts it will no longer be an apple for wickedness oh Nigeria will speak to you that wild beasts cease 
over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cause wicked leaders to seize in our land. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rakalama Nosha, Hatali Benosobedia, Rezazama Hanteloda, Hatali Kote, because the covenant of God over Nigeria is of peace. Therefore, every wild beast in this land will seize. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rakataya Barande Bosha Tabadia, Rosaza Hatali Ketobadia, we we establish the covenant of peace over you, Nigeria. We ask, oh God, that safety, oh God, shall be found in our land and in our borders. In the mighty name of Jesus, every wild beast in the land and government, wherever they are, we pray today that you wild beast upon the land, Nigeria, your hand, your, your season has come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus, your activities come to an end. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are establish the peace of God in our land. We establish the peace of God in our homes. We establish the peace of God in the borders of this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rekalabadose. Rezuze bahate. Yalande barate. Rekuda bayada balosia. Lord, we pray that every world beast will seize. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rasa talabadia. Zeruso badike. Atali benosha. Raza dabayada. Atali Every word this was Caesar in the mighty name of Jesus. Yakala Katabaya Bosia, Zamana Manosia, Reketebolosa, Razazana Manose, Vuda Barate Kutabadia, Sade Bolosovedia. Lord, what this was Caesar in our land in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Quickly give me verse 29 because of our time. Verse 29 of Ezekiel. 34. He said, I will raise up for them a garden of renown, and they shall no longer be consumed with hunger in the land, nor bear the shame of the Gentiles. I want us to pray that God, in this nation, there is no famine, there is no drought. Praise the living. And when I'm talking, I'm not just talking about food. There is no famine. There is no famine of strength. There is no famine. When I mean famine, in you, praise the living Jesus. I don't know a better way to put it. The Lord will pray, oh God, in this land, oh God, there is sustenance. By the hand of the Lord, you bring sustenance to this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rasataya barane moshataya badabada. Lekata barane moshatale badosede. Everything called insufficiency and lack. Lord, we break such covenant over Nigeria. In the mighty name of Jesus that the sustenance of the Lord will be released, will be revealed in the mighty name of Jesus. Resataya Barosha, Jeluketa Bayan de Boza Zigerata Bayada, Resetele Karande Jadabadia. The hand of the Lord will bring sustenance in the mighty name of Jesus. Resataya Baradabada, Le Kubelaze Dosha, Yala Kerada Badabada, Resuve di Bolosha, Yala Katabayada, Rekete Borosia. Rezezene monze da barata bayada reketele borosia rashata ya bada bada le kereze monte la da bayada bada le kopelasia rekayada ya noche tele borosia rese de borosha le karanda ba ya ne sote bada e baya shatalia in Jesus mighty name we are afraid. Give me Isaiah chapter thirty six verse nine and ten. Isaiah, uh, sorry, Ezekiel 36, sorry. Ezekiel 36, verse 9 and 10. He said, for indeed I am for you, and I will turn to you, and you shall be tilled and sown. Verse 10, he said, I will multiply men upon you, all the isles of Israel, all of it, and the cities shall be inhabited, and the ruins rebuilt. I want us to pray that God, that Lord Nigeria, I want us to prophesy over Nigeria, that Lord we decree over this Nigeria that this nation will be productive. Nigeria is no longer a dumping ground for the nations of the earth. This nation will yield their strength in the name of Jesus. And men will be fruitful and, and, and multiply upon the land in the mighty name of Jesus. The nation will be productive in the name of Jesus. We cause everything, every greatness deposited into the nations to begin to rise and to begin to come forth in the name of Jesus. Nigeria, you are fruitful, you are productive in the mighty name of 
Lord Jesus. Lord, the mind of the man on this nation is productive. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rasataya barate leketele bolosia. Lord, we multiply upon this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rakataya barande zuzata balabadale. The land is productive. Mighty man multiplies upon the land. Let the strong multiply upon the land. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nigeria is not small. Resofekataya barante bolosadaya. You are not a barren land. You are not a curse. You are a blessing. Your people are not a curse. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rasataya barate bolosodadia. You are not a curse among the nations. You are not a curse to your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pronounce you blessed. You are a blessing to your inhabitants. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will yield your strength to your people. In the name of Jesus. Rekataya badarezo de dikatande bolosodadia. Lord, we pray over this nation that this land is productive, is man as strong and fruitful. In the mighty name of Jesus, Rezezebosa, Yala Barade Bokuzebada Balabadia, Jarate Le Katabaya Dabada, Zuzebarabosa, Mandebosa, Le Kerada Dabarosu Vediatedia. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Verse 13 and 14 of that same Ezekiel chapter 36 it said, Thus says the Lord God, because they say to you, You devour men and believe your nation of children. Verse 14. Therefore, shall therefore you shall devour men no more, nor believe your nation anymore, says the Lord. I want us to pray for Nigeria. Our Lord. The future of this Nigeria will not be perished before their time. You know, he said, he said he divorced men, but he bring it into concept. He said he believes the nation of our children. Any country that is believing the nation of our children, what do you know what is doing? Self-destructing. There is no future. I want us to pray that God, Lord, we bring the future of Nigeria hope that this future is not dim. In the name of Jesus, the life of the youth and the young men is preserved. In the mighty name of Jesus, Nigeria will not hit the strength of our hit the strength of our people. It will not devour the lives of the children of this nation. In the name of Jesus, rather you will preserve lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, it's not a land that devour. It's a land that preserve the lives of its future in the mighty name of Jesus. You are not a, lie, a nation that defy its seed. You are alive. You are a nation that nurture our seeds in the mighty name of Jesus. Rezataya kataba ruzoveli brande boshata jala gada bada bada rake de boso ve di karanta jala kataya baraze zombe doshata mandre duze badoshia in Jesus mighty name we are praying. Quickly give me 1 John 5 verse 19. I want us to pray for the nations of the heart. 1 John 5 verse 19. <coughs> know that we are of God. And the whole world lies under the sway. Under the dominion. Under the influence. Under the grip of the wicked one. I want us to pray concerning the nations of the heart. Our Lord, we break nations away from the grip of wickedness. That particular word used... You see, you see nations fighting and you see people because of political statements. You are trying to show that you have political power. You see innocent people starving and dying. Praise the living Jesus. I want us to pray that God over the nations of the heart. Lord, we, we, we break every grip of wickedness in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, lift your voice and pray to the Lord. Lord, we break the grip of wicked men and wickedness. Lord, over the nations of the heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. Rezazata Baya da Barosata, Razazana le Kupe Katayabado, Jarante Likete Bolosovadia, we send for the goodness of God in the mighty name of Jesus, Rezazamanosha Ata Kike Bolosove, Jala Barada Badabada, Rekete Bolosove, Resha Kataya Bada Badabada, Le Karada Bara de Jana Manosove, Mate Like Kobedia, Rezovosa, Male Katabaya da Badabada, Rekete Bolosovadia. 
Ross, Jala Barada Badabada, Rekete Bosha, Atali Benos, Ekuta Labadia. We break every yoke and every grip of wickedness over the nations of the heart. In the name of Jesus, everything that obscure people from seeing the goodness of God over the nations of the heart, in the four corners of this heart, we break such yoke in the name of Jesus that the goodness of God will be revealed to men wherever they are in the mighty name of Jesus. That the glory of God will be revealed in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. Psalm 72 verse 12. Give me from verse 13. It said, He will spare the poor and the needy and needy and we save the soul of the needy. He will redeem their life from oppression and violence. And precious shall be their blood in his sight. Praise the living Jesus. I want us to pray lastly that Lord, Lord, every soul that is crying out to God wherever they are. He said he will redeem their life from oppression, from violence. He said he will save the soul, every soul that cries. The Lord, wherever men are, Lord, you will extend the hand of your salvation to them. In the name of Jesus. Every cry, every cry of the needy and the poor. Lord, wherever they are on the face of the heart. Lord, you will extend the hand of salvation to them. And your glory will be revealed in the name of Jesus. Rasataya Bado, come and pray. Open your mouth and speak to the Lord. You will reveal your glory. And they the Bushina Badaba. Can we go ahead and pray? Can we go ahead and pray? Can we go and pray? It will spare the poor and the needy. And save the souls of the needy in the name of Jesus. Mashata brade bada bara baba 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 raba kete pretiko te prede busiha. Wherever you are, can you stay up yourself right now? Mashata brande kete bread today. Asha baba 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 raba kete prete kishimba de raba te prete baba 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 de roshanta baba 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 raba kete brande kete prete te prude. Oshanda baba 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 raba kete prete te prote shi. Dabade elam brande kete brado shida ba 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 repe kete beke demo kuvina de shite emanta brata kete brake te ba asha da ba 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 ra ba 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 can you lift your voice to God in prayer rapote brake te ba ya ba shite the effect of father prayer the righteous man prekida a villet mosha ala ma 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 it makes power available it makes power available it makes power available it makes power available dynamic in his working dynamic in his working dynamic in his working my pranto sempre keteba ala ba 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 Rabakata brakata, I want to hear us pray. Mashete prakotema, raba ba 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 ba, raba kete marukote ha, ashanta ba 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 ba, erepe kete prakote, eshada ba 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 ba. Scripture says the place where they pray, shuk akepote, asante brakade, ashanta ba 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 ba. Tonight is prayer storm. Ma ba 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 ba. Eh, maramukote na ma 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 na ma. Can you pray? Like someone who means business, Mashete Brateba, a man pata ba ba ba. Ah, ma 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 ma. We will not cajole you to pray, but you will pray. Ma take it, ma 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 ma. Ma rokote na ma ma. Can you let out those cronies? Ma shanta kaka kada ba. Rakate kete kede. A ma 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 ma. A rapo kote ka. A shanta da da da. And he found him in Bethel, and with strong tears and crying. 
mean my potena na yekete ayakata kada kada ba rekata kada da 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 eh heartfelt prayers heartfelt prayers heartfelt prayers heartfelt prayers my brother da 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 ba ashanda ba 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 ramoko prena ma 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 eh brakada ba 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 bosha blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory cover us with your wings blow 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 like a mighty wind you're the spirit of victory you cover us with your wings blow 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 like a mighty wind spirit of victory cover us with your wings you will blow 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 like a mighty wind hey, spirit of victory church for the people we are praying for our meetings and we are praying for our new expressions acts chapter 2 start from verse 2 he says and suddenly say suddenly say suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled the whole house where they were seated verse 3 and there appeared unto them divided tongues as of fire and sat upon each of them. We are praying for every member that everyone carries a fire. That there is a fresh fire coming upon everyone. The fire of the Holy Ghost uh, to do the will of the Lord. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire in your devotional life. Fresh fire on your family altar. Fresh fire in the name of Jesus. It sat upon each of them. In the name of Jesus. Can you go ahead and pray Suddenly, there was a sound from heaven. As we pray this evening, we hear a sound from heaven. Each one is spirit filled. In the name of Jesus, fresh fire, fresh fire. Oh, Nanta, 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 we shot in my bones uh, like fire. Man, they get, they get, they get, they. We are a willing people. We are a willing people. Ah, this is the day of your power. This is the day of your power. As a church, we are a willing people. We are a willing people. There is fresh fire on my altar. Oh, man, nah, man, nah, man. there is fire on my life. There is fire on my life. There is fire. Only goes fire. Da, 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 da. It is burning on my 
inside. It is going upon my children. I become untouchable. There is fire upon my life. I said that never. I make an impact. Fire makes impact. I make an impact. As a church, sir, we make an impact. Fire leaves nothing the same. Fire leaves nothing the same. Fire leaves nothing the same. Asha da 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 when I minister, I minister as one that carry fire. I send them when I go to my workplace. I do as one that carry fire. I send them when I go to my workplace. I do as one that carry fire. I send them when I go to my workplace. I send them when I go to my workplace. In Jesus' name we are praying. Numbers 23. Numbers 23. From verse 18. We are praying for the people. The humans of interest. Then he took up his oracle and said, Rise up, Balak. Here, listen to me, son of Zippo. God is not a man that he should lie. Nor a son of man that he should repent. As he said, I will not do. As he spoken, I will not make it good. Behold, I have received the commandment to bless. And he has blessed, and I cannot reverse it. As a people, we are irreversibly blessed in the name of Jesus. We are blessed in the famine, we are blessed in the land. Can you go ahead and pray? We are blessed beyond the cost in the name of Jesus. He has blessed. We are the blessed people. We are the blessed people. We carry the blessing. We carry the blessing. We carry the blessing. We carry the blessing. Ashara na 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 ba. Hey, man, to go de gada. Ara ba 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 ba. Rete kete motosha. Asende. I have received the commandment to bless, and he has blessed. Ah, I cannot reserve it. I cannot reverse it. Irreversibly blessed. Irreversibly blessed. Irreversibly blessed. In our endeavors, we are the blessed people. We are the blessed people. We carry the blessing. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The next verse. He has not observed iniquity in Jacob, nor has he seen wickedness in Israel. The Lord is God is with him, and the shout of a king is among them. We learned through the land anniversary that blessed is the man whom the Lord does not count in his iniquity, whom the Lord has covered his sin. So we are that blessed people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he says, The Lord is with him. Nicodemus went to Jesus and said, Who can do these things except God is with him? Hallelujah. That is why people of signs and wonders, because the Lord is with us, and the shout of a king is among us. Can you take up this prayer and begin to say it over your life as a member of Faithless Assembly? In the name of Jesus, I am blessed. There is no sin in my life. The blood of Jesus has washed me. I am washed with the blood. I am redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus. Oh, the Lord is with me. The Lord is with me. The Lord is my helper. He will not leave me. Neither will he forsake me. That I may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. The Lord is my helper. The shadow of a king is among them. There is joy and rejoicing in my life. There is joy and rejoicing in my life. In this house, there is joy. This is the house of joy. He said, I will make them joyful in my house of prayer. In Jesus' name we are praying. The next verse. God brings them out of Egypt as with the strength of a white ox. Yeah. For there is no sorcery against Jacob, nor any divination against Israel. Now it must be said of Jacob and Israel. Oh, what the Lord has done. When people see the faithless court and they get there, hey, oh, 
oh, what the Lord has done. When people meet you in various places, they say, oh, what the Lord has done. Can you go ahead and speak these words over you, over your household, over this church? There is no divination. There is no sorcery. There is no attack against our minds. In the name of Jesus. Roshana Macoberia Abrakido Ashanda Baba 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 what the Lord has done. Oh, what the Lord has done. It is evident for all to see. It is evident for all to see. It is evident for all to see. It is evident. All sees it. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Can you say amen like thunder? Acts and chapter 8. We are praying for our meetings. Do you know our meetings? All right. Acts chapter 8 from verse 5 to 6. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ unto them. And the multitude with one accord heeded the things which Philip spoke. Now pay attention. Hearing and seeing the miracles which he did. That as pastors goes out to minister, there is sight and sounds. There is proofs. Infallible proof of the word of God in the name of Jesus. Can you go ahead and pray at the Polytechnic pardon on all his itinerant meetings at the Federal Court in the name of Jesus? There is sight and sounds. People hear and see. People hear and see. People hear and see. People hear and see. In the name of Jesus. There is mighty revelation. There is mighty revelation in the name of Jesus. Maraboke Rabashanda Rakata Prakada There is sight and sound. There is sight and sound. There is sight and sound in the name of Jesus. The word of God has us. Ah, it is honored. The word of God has us, and it is honored. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Can you say amen like thunder? The word spoken over us to describe this new year for us is the word rapidity. What word do I call it? We are praying for our new expressions. Isaiah chapter 6 66 verse 7 to 9. It says that a nation be born in a day. Ah, it is say rapidity. Hey, hey, are you getting it? Say Lord, as we enter a new phase as a church, there is rapidity. We see speed at work in the name of Jesus. Sir. We see speed at work in the name of Jesus. Sir. Rapidity as we plant a new church. Sir. Our new expression has been growed in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 66. Sir. He says, As soon as Zion travel, he brought forth. He said, Who has had such a thing? Ah, we become a wonder. We become a wonder. We become a wonder. Ah, yeah. Baba, we become a wonder even to ourselves in the name of Jesus. Mosha Rabba Baba 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 and stop it. He said, no. At least God is faithful. We are praying that Lord, as we part a new church, there is no abortion. There is no entrance whatsoever. It is a safe delivery. A man child. In the name of Jesus. Can you go ahead and pray? Can I cause to the delivery and shut the womb? No. 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 I am Seramanda, Ashanda, da 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 ba, Rekata Katida, Asero Mo Shada ba, Rekata Kada 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 ba, Rekata Kada Kada ba, Yes Shada ba. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse nineteen. Jeremiah chapter thirty, verse nineteen says, "Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of those that make merry." Hear the word. He said, "I will multiply them; they shall not diminish." I will glorify them. They shall not be small. As we march to the Ringo Church in the name of Jesus. Oh my there is multiplication. There is multiplication. Ah, 
and you blessed him and said be fruitful and multiply be fruitful and multiply Ashala mama 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 we hit the command we hit the command we are fruitful we are fruitful we cover the earth 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 in the name of Jesus. We cover the earth. God we honor us. The honor of God is upon 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 us. In Jesus name we have prayed. As I live here. Acts chapter 2 verse 27. Acts chapter 2 verse 27. Let's see 47. Where it talks about okay 47 47 it says praising god and having favor with all the people and the lord added to the church daily those who are to receive ah as we go to the ring road church praising god we carry the favor of god upon our lives sir. and men are added to us sir. men are added to us men are added to us men are added to us sir. hey praising god and having favor with all the people Praising God and having favor with all the people. Can you pray? Rabo Sanda Bakale. In the name of our Lord Jesus. 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 Those to be saved are hearted. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, your expressions increase. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ springs streams in the name of our lord jesus christ in multiples in the name of our lord jesus christ father springs in the name of our lord jesus christ in the name of our lord jesus christ it springs forth in the name of our lord jesus christ it springs forth it streams up in the name of our lord jesus christ in jesus mighty name we pray Nehemiah chapter 2 from verse 12. Nehemiah chapter 2 from verse 12. Hallelujah. This evening we'll be praying about two things. We'll be praying about what comes into our heart and what is in our hands. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. And he rose in the night and some and some few men with him. Neither told I any man what my God has put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. And I rose in the night, and I and some men with me, neither told I any man what my God has put in my heart to do in Jerusalem. One of the things that I have learned is that the easiest thing for a man to do, really, is what God puts in his heart. The inspiration that he puts in your heart goes beyond you, it goes beyond your family, it goes, it goes even when you are no longer there. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But if it does not happen to your heart, you are struggling. Praise the name of the Lord. Father, I want to ask of you, your inspirations on my heart are clear in the name of our lord jesus christ even at this time in the name of our lord jesus christ as your church is branching out and branching forth and increasing in dimension in the name of our lord jesus your inspirations your hand upon my heart in the name of our lord jesus christ oh god they get clearer in the name of our lord jesus christ in the name of our lord jesus christ your expressions inside of me in the name of our lord jesus christ they become clear in the name of our lord jesus christ there is light upon my heart 
in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, for every expression of you in the name of our Lord Jesus, in my heart, Lord, in the name of Jesus, there is clarity in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is understanding in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, so God, there is a, your expressions in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in me becomes clearer in the name of our Lord Jesus. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. It is what is clear to you that you can cast on others. Praise the name of the Lord. It is what is clear to your heart that you can cast on others. It is what is clear to you that you can continue to follow even when you feel like giving up. I am not discouraged in the visions that you have revealed to me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am faithful, O God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in that which you have put in my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I am faithful, O God, in the name of Jesus, in that which you have put in my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, O God, Lord, there is continuity, O God. In the name of Jesus, in that which you have put in my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in the name of Jesus, concerning your work, concerning my ministry, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, O God, Lord, I am faithful. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I can cast it forth. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Acts, Acts chapter 7. Acts chapter 7. Acts chapter 7. Acts chapter 7 from verse 23. Let's start from 22. Acts 7, 22. And Moses was learned in all the wisdom of Egypt and was mighty words and in deeds. And when he was full 40 years old, he came to his heart. Somebody say he came to his heart. Father, I ask this evening, let it come into my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, so God, let destiny come into my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, let strategies of the Spirit come into my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, so God, Lord, living in abundance, even in drought, let it come into my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Salvation, O oh God, Lord, for the nations, O oh God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, so God, let it come into my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God, Lord, I am not full of myself. In the name of our Lord Jesus, I am not lent only in the wisdom of Egypt. Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, oh God, Lord, that in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, the reason, oh God, Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, why you brought health, why you brought wealth, why you brought Egypt, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, he enters into my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, he enters into my heart. In the name of Jesus, he enters into my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus, he enters into my heart. In the name of Jesus, destiny enters into my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus, the wisdom of the Almighty enters into my heart. I am full of his spirit in the name of Jesus, be your mayor. In the name of Jesus, in the mayor of the spirit of the Lord. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, it enters into my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to express God, to stand for Him, to stand for Him, to minister for Him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, to represent Him in the darkest place of the earth in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Destiny enters my heart in the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I understand purpose. I am not tossed to and fro in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I can stand in that which he has called me to live. I can stand in that which he has called me to be alive even at this moment. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Destiny enter into my heart. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Experience and signs to me. 
in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. New life by the Spirit, in the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And one other thing happened. There are a lot of things that happened in Nehemiah. One other thing that I want us to pray about that happened in that place was had different expressions. For the built. There were people that were not necessarily builders. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I have capacity for a heavy flow of God that will be coming out in this season. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. They were not all builders, but every one of them built. There are people that are, they are hunters. There are people that are in their house, but they built. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I have capacity. Multiple capacities in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ for the various expressions of God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Various capacities for the expressions of God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. To be a father, I have the capacity in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. To be a servant, I have the capacity. To be a boss, I have the capacity. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Expressing God in his various forms. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I have capacity. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I have capacity. I have capacity. I have capacity. In the name of our Lord Jesus By the Spirit, I have capacity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I have capacity to do that which he has enabled me to do. To what he has put in my heart to do. In the name of Jesus, I have the capacity. By Spirit, I have the capacity. In the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus. I have the capacity. I have the capacity. In the name of Jesus Christ, for heavy expressions of Him in my heart at this season, at this time, in the name of Jesus, I can express it. In the name of our Lord Jesus. 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 I have the capacity. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I don't. Please, can you help me look for this scripture? I think it should be. But when he was talking about uh, the servants of the Lord, um, not strive, then he said, should be patient, tend to be able to, to teach. Can you, can you help me? Be able to teach the word. I think it's Second Timothy 2 Timothy 2.24. Right. Thank you. And the servant of the Lord must not strive. Somebody say one. They are not the same thing. What must be gentle. Somebody say two. Must be up to teach. And be patient. Praise the name of the Lord. But all of them flow from one spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. All of them flow from one spirit. But they are not necessarily the same thing. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I have full expressions for all that you'll be putting in my heart. This is I want us to pray that prayer. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, Lord, capacity, oh God, in the name of Jesus, for everything you'll be putting in my heart. Everything you will put inside of me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Capacity to teach in the name of Jesus is not in that. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't remain in myself to strive in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Capacity to be gentle in the name of Jesus Christ. Be milk in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. So God, Lord, I have it in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus.
In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Matthew 25 from verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country. Who called his own servants and delivers goods to them, and to one he gave five, and to another he gave two, and to one he gave one, to each according to his ability, and immediately he went on his journey. Verse 20 And he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you deliver to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more. And the Lord said unto him, Well done. Good and faithful servant you are, faithful over a few things, and I will make you ruler over men. I want us to ask of God, Lord, help me to be faithful in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Help me to be faithful. Help me to be faithful. Help me to be faithful in that which is being delivered to me by your word daily in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, that which you have given to my hands, found me faithful. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, found me faithful. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, help me by your spirit to be faithful, God, in the name of Jesus, in your daily expressions to me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, so God, help me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, oh God, help me. In the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let me be found faithful, oh God, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whether in the quantity or in the quality. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, oh God, Lord, in the mayor of your spirit, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, oh God, Lord, in the capacities of your spirit, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, oh God, Lord, help me. Like Moses, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, oh God, Lord, found faithful in all his house. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, help me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, help me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, help me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, help me. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, one, one lesson from this story of the talents is that it is not about what it's going to give. It's not about what it's going to give. He is not going to give all of us gifts like pastor. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But he has given you something. That, in fact, as, as we are praying, you keep telling yourself that there is this thing that he has given to you. Praise the name of the Lord. That can be an expression that can be his hands or his legs to reach the earth. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. It will not be in the same quantity. It has never, it was never designed to be like that. All of us who are not meant to be the high. All of us were meant to present him, to represent him. Lord, I'm faithful in all your house. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm faithful in all your house. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am faithful in all your house. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am faithful in all your house. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm faithful in all your house. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I am faithful in all your house. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am not slack. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
I am not slack in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, I am not slack in the name of the Lord Jesus. I am not a son that brings shape in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I understand service in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I understand staying in my place in the name of the Lord Jesus. I understand instruction in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I understand teaching. I understand to be taught in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is found in me. Faithfulness in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithfulness in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithfulness in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithfulness in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithfulness in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithfulness in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithfulness in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Lastly, Anna. Anna was the lady. That the only expression of his prophet or of our prophetic was in our waiting for the Messiah. For one day that she will see the Messiah walk into the temple. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Does that one look to you like a prophet? But when God will express her, say. That is a prophet. He has given you something now. You said he will not, he, he will not make you prom, prominent. You, you, you will not be seen. No, 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 no. That is, the, that, is that of the first prophet. Jezebel in Revelation. Called herself. Lord, I am faithful in all your house. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am found faithful in all your house. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am found faithful in all your house. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to the abilities that you have given me by your spirit. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I do express less. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I do express less in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ because I am helped by your spirit. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because I am helped by your spirit. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In your expressions. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. To me in these days. In the name of Jesus. I am found faithful. In the name of Jesus Christ. In that weakness. In the name of Jesus. To continue in prayers. I am found faithful. Faithful. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in that witness to be a watchman, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, at this hour I am found faithful. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, Father. Lift your hands. Let's bless the Lord tonight. Let's bless Him. You are good. You are kind. You are, kind. You are more than this. Lost for words, trying to describe you. Elohim, Elion, Adeshelohim.
We thank you for every second we've spent this afternoon in your presence. We thank you for every burden that we have you have had. Even the ones we have not found words to describe. We thank you for your abiding presence. We thank you because you will be yet glorified. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Colossians chapter 4 and verse 2. We are going to go in a stretch of prayer. I'm going to talk briefly. Sometimes I'll just tell you to sit down and some other times we stand up. Just keep praying. Continue earnestly in prayer. Be vigilant in it with thanksgiving. If we are not careful, Prayer will become synonymous with worry. So when people are agitated, you see them, they pray. But so that that atmosphere will not capture our prayer, this man said we must continue earnestly in prayer. Be vigilant. There must be something you must be watching out for when you pray. Prayer is not just like you are struggling. Prayer must communicate a sense of ease. Are you following me? With thanksgiving. So this evening, one of the things we are going to discuss is, is the word is a good word. One of the most popular scriptures is word to them who are at ease in Zion. Can the word is be a good word? Huh? How many of you want to be at ease? Let's sing a hymn this evening.
from your shoulder. The Lord will destroy by his anointing. If you believe he said the amen very well. If you believe he said the amen very well. Hallelujah. Is the word is a good word? I notice throughout all scripture is hardly used for a good thing. And I can give you examples. Psalm 73 verse 12 to 14. Psalm 73, verse 12 to 14. Behold, these who are ungodly, who are always at ease. Have you noticed that it is people that are not looking to do things in God's way that find this word easy? The day you choose that I want to win by the way of God, you've declared war. Somebody said, when you hear, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, it's not prayer, it's a war declaration. Yeah. Because when you say, thy kingdom come, it means you are displacing a rule. Yeah. Are you following me? Yes, and that's why you will face opposition. But the ungodly are always at ease. They increase in riches. Continue. Surely, and so what do you say? Surely I have cleansed my heart in vain. Wash my hands in innocence. All day long I've been plagued and chastened every morning. The person who washed his hand seems plagued. The ungodly seem to be what? At ease. Psalm 123 verse 3 and 4. Psalm 123 verse 3 and 4. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is filled, is exceedingly filled with the scorn of those who are at ease, with the contempt of what? Who are the people who are at ease? The proud. There's a way they talk with a sense of assurance. We are going to be this. And uh, 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 we, like, like, like what the, our president says, a milocon. I mean, and there is nothing you can do about it. Whether you vote or you don't vote, whether you want them or you don't want them, they say it and they have it and they are at ease and nobody questions them. Are you following me? And they are hardly faith people. Psalm 73, verse 3 to 5. Psalm 73, verse 3 to 5. For I was envious of the boastful when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no pangs in their death. 
but their strength is firm they they are not in trouble like other men nor are they plagued like other men when they are sick they fly to paris when you are sick you are looking for doctor they are not plagued like other men are you following me and and and, and they are not the righteous so many a times that's why when you hear war unto them who are at ease in Zion, like that's Amos chapter 6, verse 1. The word ease is almost like the terrain and the habitat of the wicked. Are you following me? But I found one place where it was used for the righteous. Because I don't want you to become an alien to ease. Uh, you didn't get what I just said there. You might think that until you do the way of the wicked, you cannot find ease. Because ease seems to be the terrain and the habitat of the wicked. Is there ease for the righteous? Jeremiah 46, verse 27 and 28. Because we walk from east to east. Somebody say amen. amen. But do not fear, O my servant Jacob. Do not be dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save you from afar, your offspring from the land of captivity. Jacob shall return and have rest, and shall be at ease, and no one shall make him afraid. Hallelujah. Do not, verse 28. Do not fear, O Jacob, my servant, for I am with you. For I will make a complete end of all the nations to which you have driven you, but I will not make a complete end of you. I will rightly correct you, but I will not leave you wholly unpunished. So he said, I will bring them from all the nations and they will be at ease. Why do I say it? Because many times our prayer meetings are filled with warriors. We hardly pray from the place of ease. We try to get ease in prayer. But you don't know that prayer can start from ease. Uh, you didn't get what I just said. Because sometimes, you know why we try to get ease in prayer? Because when answer comes, it changes us. But what you don't understand is that when you pray, you have first gotten the first ease. Because you have transferred your body to God and you will move from that dimension of ease to another dimension of ease that is called the hands out of God. So listen, this, do you know, and I will tell you why I'm saying this. Recently I asked myself whether I'm very okay. Do you know why? I don't really get troubled. When people say they want to start church, I see the way people are agitated. I said, no, I was asking myself, she moved you know what I'm saying? Am I diminishing what I want to do? Or when somebody says, I want to get to an assignment, what do you expect? What do you say? God call you. You expect somebody to say, I've, I've, just, I've just finished about 185 days of fasting. That's when some of you feel like now, God, whatever you want to do, there is nothing wrong with that. But I discovered that if we are not careful, Colossians 4 2 says, we must continue earnestly in prayer, but we must be watchful. We must be watchful with thanksgiving because if we are not watchful, prayer will become the platform of worry. Most people will pray. Most churches that shout about are the least rested people. They are the most restless. They are troubled. They are agitated because they don't understand that prayer starts in ease and brings you to his. Are you following me? Say tonight I receive his. Every burden in my heart I lay it at the feet of the Lord. Raise your voice and pray. Father, I have you as my father. What peace do we for feet oh what peace we forfeit oh what needless pain we bear all oh, because we do not carry everything to God in prayer Oh shaka la ba la ba la ba da la kotondo to santonda lo tonda lo kosabo o parotando lika sobaraba 
Lord, wherever my coming into your presence is becoming anxiety, I, I put it down at your feet. Wherever my spiritual activity is becoming anxiety, no faith anymore. Father, Lord, tonight I relinquish that control in the name of Jesus, Lord. The people of Israel shall dwell in Israel. They will return from captivity. I thank you, Lord, for your his minister to me. Sorobagada. Seromo Kokota. Sandoromo Kopa Katadia. Serema Kokota Moko Kuriba. Shakorobo Bobo Totoribaba. Imbra Makadosha. Erima Nabadaya. Oroba Kasonda Ribaka. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 50, verse 14 and 15. Psalm 50, verse 14 and 15. Offer to God thanksgiving. Pay your vows to the Most High. Call upon me in the day of trouble. And I will deliver you and you will glorify me. If you read this scripture, it looks like prayer is synonymous to trouble. That's why prayer has stopped being fellowship. Are you following me? Said, offer your vows to God, then in the day of trouble. That is why people are prayerful when trouble shows up. Because they have, we have come to a point in our mind where prayer is becoming synonymous to sorrow. I didn't get what I'm saying. Uh, I don't have. In Matthew 26, I'm saying a lot of things because I want you to pray. In Matthew 26, from verse 36 to 36 to 46, there was a story of Gethsemane. The Bible says Jesus told the disciples, I'm full of sorrow. It is true that prayer is one of our divine response to when we are burdened. Are you following me? That's why the Bible says, and in the day of trouble, Call upon me. So the Bible says he went aside and started praying and was deeply sorrowful. But by the time he came back, he saw that the disciples were sleeping. And the, in, the, in the book of John, the Bible said they were sleeping because they were sorrowful. Many a times the sorrow now overwhelms you so much that the prayer even becomes you can't even do it again. You, you feel like the sorrow is what will push you to prayer until you get to prayer and discover the sorrow is the reason why you are not praying. Because sorrow is not the greatest motivation to prayer. Yeah. You didn't get what I'm saying. You see, we are, that's why I said you will move from ease to his. Yeah. God will give you victory. Now, the ease I'm talking about does not mean you don't have things you are dealing with. In John 16, verse 20 and 21, John 16, 20 and 21, Jesus described us. He said, we are like, he said, now I say to you that you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You will be sorrowful, the world will be turned, but your joy will be turned, your sorrow will be turned to joy. He said, because you are like a woman that is in labor, as sorrow, as sorrow, because our hour has come. If you read this place, how many of you think that all women go through the excruciating stress? Many years ago, when we wanted to give back to, is it Jemima? Who at the hospital. And this particular woman came laughing at the nurses. Number one, the first one I saw was an Igbo woman. You know, when the, the Igbo woman delivered maybe one or two days before, by the time I got there, she was seated and holding their starch with a lot of... By the time I looked at the baby that was the elder brother of the baby, he was like one year old. I was asking myself, and the way she sat on the bed, I knew she was ready for another one. I'm telling you. It's your revival, I think that hey, everything has to, hey, you know, some of you have to force the, when then they announce to you you are pregnant, the whole family has to force become sorrowful. Who told you? It is something in the mind. That same time, I saw one woman, she came, and said, I'm going to school. They said, eh, 
And the nurse was telling her, ah, you better stay. You don't know whether the baby will come. Like, ah, we come back. And, you know, it was just, she didn't carry, carry anything that looks like. Me, I was not concerned because I was waiting for maybe Jemima. I, I can't even remember. I think it was. I just discovered about one hour after I saw the woman. That same woman. She, had, she was just in rapper and they said, ah, I can and, and she had delivered. She just said, I felt a little on me. Everything the enemy has put in your mind. I tell you, prayer has to be like, you will be delivered tonight. <laughs> Are you hearing? Prayers. Some of you feel like prayers. It's me, you see, like, batting, like, you will pray, you will know you have been hard. You will pray from a place of ease. I say you pray from a place of ease. Now, and this stand up because you want to start praying from the place of ease. John 11, 34 and 35. Jesus stood before a four days old dead body. He said, where have you laid him? They said, Lord, come and see. Continue. Jesus wept. Now, why do you, you think Jesus wept? Then, they continue, I think, I think, and Jesus said, how, how he loved him. Yes? Some of them said, couldn't this man who have opened the eyes of the blind also have kept this man from dying? Yes, continue. Who is there? Jesus again, groaning himself, came to the tomb, and it was a cave, and a stone laid against him. And you know the story, he said, roll away the stone. And they said, but it's for four days. And he said, don't you know, I've told you that if you believe, you see the glory of God. I want to see the prayer of Jesus. What was the prayer of Jesus? Look at verse what? And they took it, and Jesus lifted his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have had me. You are facing something smelly. And you are not saying, Father, I thank you because you must hear me. You said, Father, I thank you because you have had me. How many of you know God has had you? Yeah. The first place of ease that it, some of you think you are just starting the transaction. Some of transactions you have registered before are valid. Yeah. Father, I thank you because you have had me. Look at verse 42. Next verse. I know that you always hear me. But because of the people who are standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. So Jesus was not crying and groaning because this is a serious issue to handle. You didn't get it. You see, your prayer must be laden with thanksgiving. The amount of thanksgiving that is there is what determines whether you see the situation as something that will cost you so much to push or something that is easy for God. Lift your voice now and begin to raise a voice of thanksgiving. That is your first ease. Let thanksgiving return to your prayer. Let thanksgiving return to your prayer. Lord, I thank you because you always hear me. I thank you because I belong to the company of the victorious. To them that have overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of the testimony. Lord, I give you praise, Lord. Lord, I give you praise, Lord. Rambo Shatta. I thank you because you have heard me. I thank you because you always hear me. You always hear me. I give you praise. Zontanosha. Elisha Kabala. Lakotoroboye Badia. Remandamba Sokoriba Sekaba. I thank you because you always hear me. I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. First John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. Prayer starts not from desperation alone, it can start from confidence. First John 5 14. Now, this is the confidence. Say, Father, I recover my confidence. I find joy in the house of prayer. Begin to pray for yourself tonight. This is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. He hears 
us all. And the Robashando there. Offran the Copadosha. Lekotondaria. Lekotonderosha. Iba Mama Soto. Ikorobo Kababa. Ashando Robo Kaba. Iramakalo Barama Ika Sando. Otiro Moko Balaba. Iramalaba Shandaha. Orababa. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you because confidence is restored to the hearts of your people. Sorrow is disappearing. Every weight is lifted. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for recovery of confidence in our heart. We are victors. We are not caused. There is no sorcery against us. There is no divination against us. No one can stand in the way of our blessing. No cause can stand in the way of our blessing. We cannot do without our signs. Wherever we go, the signs of the Lord follow us. This is the confidence that we have. This is the confidence that we have. Oh, Shambara, oh, Shambara. In Jesus' name we pray. This is how you read it. Now, this is the confidence that we have because he answered us. People want to be confident in God because he answered. So when he has answered, you say, ah, God, I'm confident. But what the Bible says is that, that if we ask, which means the confidence existed before the asking. Yes. You didn't get what I'm saying. Yes, Lord, see, the reason why most of us take too long in the place of prayer is because we are trying prayer to get into the confidence. But the confidence must exist even before you approach God. He that cometh to God must know that he is. How do you pray about Nigeria and you are praying like that? Are you praying to a man? You are praying to somebody that can move a nation in one day. This is the confidence that we have. That if we ask anything according to the Father, Lord, wherever the enemy has tricked us out of confidence, we recover confidence. That joy, the joy of salvation, the joy of acceptance is all over this house. It's all over this is all over our hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. Era malabala bashanda, era bolo boshontora, era malaba shokora, era malabo shakala, era malaba shantoro bo, era malaba malabala bosh, ipanto daba. We receive your fresh confidence. You are good. You are good. Let's sing that song you can let us with in the beginning. Let's sing that song. It's a song of confidence. Let's sing that song. I have never seen your kind. Yeah. I'm devoted to your praise and for it. John 5, 14 and 15 again. This is the confidence we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Verse 15. And if we know that he hears us, whatever, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petition. He didn't say we have. He said we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. Father Lord, we we disconnect from every sorrow of defeat. We disconnect from every sorrow of defeat. We disconnect from every sorrow of denial. Lord, we said denial is uh, every, 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 every waiting is not denial. We disconnect from every sorrow that the enemy has exaggerated over our life, over our mind, over our church, over our nation. We disconnect. We know who you are. You are good. You are kind. There 
is no one like you. There is no kind like you. There is no one powerful like you. Lord, we are devoted to your praise. To praise you in the night. To praise you in the afternoon. To praise you in the evening. To praise you when we see the signs. To praise you when we do not see the signs. Lord, you are God. Nothing changes who you are. You are seated on the throne. I am exalted above the earth. All the nations of the earth are like, 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 like a drop in the bucket before you. The kings of the earth, their heart is in your hand. You turn it whatever, wherever you want to turn it. You have absolute control. That's who you are. That's who you are. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Philippians 4 verse 6. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer. So prayer is not what we do when we are anxious. It's what we do because we are not anxious. People try to pray when they are anxious. But no, this is what the Bible says. Be anxious, but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. How many of you expect your prayers to be answered? The proof that you expect your prayers to be answered is thanksgiving. That's the proof. It's not grumbling. If I, if truly you know the God who you came to meet tonight, I have seen him answer prayers and I don't back and say, so he had that prayer. So he listened to that prayer. So when I was talking like that, though it was a whisper, he had it. Are you following me? So, and, and that's why I, I just don't want to come into his presence with burden. I want to come from east to east. Lift your voice of thanksgiving afresh. Thank you for your church. Thank you for faith. Thank you for the word he has spoken to you. Thank you for the things he has changed in the nation. Thank you for the things he has taught in your family. Thank you for the things he has taught in your workplaces. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for things you said you never knew you had. You never knew you had. Come on, keep in God. There is no one like you. So like you. Come and I'll keep you going. There is a storm. But unfortunately, this sleeper was sleeping from disobedience. It was not the accurate picture of the sleeper God was. So Jesus repeated the sin in the New Testament in Mark chapter 4, verse 37 and 38. That there was a storm, and Jesus who was sleeping. Are you following me? So it is not the storm that made the prayer to that made him to pray. It is authority that made him to talk. 
he rebuked the wind. It was not responding to the storm. He was releasing what was within him. Today, Father, we release your power. Every deposit of God within us uh, to confront every situation uh, challenging our joy. We release the rivers of living water. We release the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, my joy will not be taken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We release grace uh, to begin to flow in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In John chapter 11, from verse 6, the Bible said they told Jesus that Lazarus was sick and he stayed two more days. And he said to his disciples, I want to go to Judea. And they began to say to him, Lately, the Jews have sought to stone you, and you are going back. It is the environment that informs people. But Jesus was not informed by the environment. Jesus said, Are there not 12 hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, does not stumble. So they were talking about what was happening recently. Jesus was talking about what was happening inside. So he told them, He said, Lazarus, my friend, is sleeping. And those people said, That's a good excuse. He wake up. Then he turned to them. He said, he's dead. And the Bible said, they said, let's go and die with him. Do you understand? Know so they are following him with his sense of trepidation. But he was not going there with trepidation. When he got to the tomb, he was not thinking will this happen or not. He was sure. You didn't get what I'm saying. Uh, the, too many of us pray with that assurance. Too many of us come to God's presence without assurance. I will see the salvation of the Lord. Open your mouth and prophesy. I will see the salvation of the Lord. I will see the hand of the Lord barely manifested clearly in my situation, in my church. I will see the things I've trusted him for. I will see it in the name of Jesus. I receive this assurance. Ramoko Parabaya Mangre Neskapos Kalaba Loromba Kasekeria Arama Laba Labo Kotonia Jekrodoba Kasekoriba Sekoroba Zekoroba Lord fill my heart afresh in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray now I want you to know I started with a story of that woman that came into the hospital and before you know that woman automatically tells us it does not always have to be this excruciating there must be something she has there are certain things that if they come into your life if the truth is that the batting process is a time of sorrow but it does not mean it has to be overwhelming so that we now begin to control you. Isaiah chapter 37 verse 3. We pray about four things. That if they are in our life, the batting season is easy. Thus says, and they said to him, Thus says Ezekiah, the day is a day of trouble and rebuke and blasphemy. For the children have come to bath, but there is no strength. What complicated it is not that the children have come to bath is the lack of strength father i've come into a season i must not lack strength the season you are now requires strength spiritually 
physically, mentally. If you have it, you will not stay long in the place of battle of children. Pray for yourself and receive strength tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive strength. Raska Pashata. Mentally, we will receive strength. Spiritually, you receive strength. Emotionally, you receive strength. This is not the day you are permitted to be weak. If you are weak, you become vulnerable. If you are weak, the situation becomes more complicated. The sorrow becomes more overwhelming. For Father, I thank you because I've come into the day of battle. And I thank you because in the day of battle, I have strength. I have strength. I have physical strength. Some of you, you see, you need to double up in many places in a short time. You need strength. You can't easily go and do one service and start complaining. This is the day of strength. This is not a time to start complaining about your health and about your body. This is the day of two services, three services, four services. This is the day of reaching more people. But it will require strength. The children have come to battle. And in the name of Jesus, we have strength. And in the name of Jesus, we have strength. Rema Kasakoba. Reke Sekoriba. Reka Sankoba. Reke Sokorobo. Erama Labaya. Arana Bayada. Erama Koshapo Kotoria. Okoto Kabakoto Kaba. Spiritual strength. Spirit, these are not the days where you can become vulnerable to demonic oppression, demonic attacks. Oh God, I have strength. My face is shining against every attack of darkness. Rama seko pasaka o paroko soka nakasera rika samba latobira o rike soparadaha. In the name of Jesus, I have come to a season of battle, and I thank you, Lord, that I have strength. I have strength financially. I have strength economically. I have strength socially. I have strength spiritually. I have strength mentally. So no koraba. In Jesus' name, we pray. Look at Hosea chapter 13, verse 13. Hosea. The sorrows of a woman in childbirth shall come upon him for he is an unwise son he should not stay long where children were born it is not automatic that you must stay long some of us have come to a point where we now you know when the enemy dents your mind you begin to embrace his defeat as your star you know, when the church started all our hymns were about how unworthy we were. We were like warm. Nobody had any sense of confidence. We were robbed so much that some things that should have taken just a hundred years to three hundred years. Because we did not understand certain things. One of the things that make people stay long is lack of wisdom. Lack of strength can make you stay. You see, lack of wisdom is what makes you push when you ought not to push. And you complicate the process for yourself. Are you following me? He said, it's an unwise son. He should not stay long. Father, I receive wisdom. You see, it does not have to take eternity for you to move from this phase to the next phase. What is required is wisdom. Lord, I receive your wisdom. In the mighty name of your pray for yourself tonight. Are you a wise son? Are you a wise son? The Bible says if you are a wise son, you don't need long to stay long in the place of children being born. You don't need to stay long there. It is not natural. It is not automatic. It is not automatic that you have to struggle. It's not automatic that you have to look so morose and so frustrated. You might, it might be a lack of wisdom somewhere. Oh Lord, overwhelm me by wisdom. If any man lack wisdom, scripture say, let him ask from God. We give it freely. I receive freely. Oh Lord, the wisdom of God to transit from season to season. Stay to stage in my life as new levels of responsibility come, I receive new levels of wisdom in God, in the mighty name of pray for yourself. Lara 
Makosoko patoseke. We sprayed. Laramanda bakadigo sakaba. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Isaiah 66, verse 7 and 8. Before she was in labor, she gave birth. Say before. Somebody thought it has to be labor before birth. But this one turned it around. Before she was in labor, before her pain came, she delivered a male child. Why? Verse 8. Who has asked such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Shall be had to make to give birth in one nation on one day, or shall a nation be born as one? For as soon as Zion was in labor, as soon, someone say as soon. Lord, everything that tells me delay is natural, is normal. I break free from it. Whatever the enemy is robbing me, my planting wrong seeds in my mind. Planting wrong seeds in my mind. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I break that seed. As soon as Zion travel, she gave birth to her children. Is the work of the Lord. Is the working of the Lord. As soon, as soon, as soon. It's not too early for God to do it in my life. It's not too early for God to open the nations. It's not too early for God to multiply his church. It's not too early. It's not too early. As soon as Zion travel. Lord Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. As soon, as soon, as soon, as soon. Sando koto kaba. Shakondo robo kaba. In the name of Jesus. As soon as Zion travel, he brought forth our children. Shando lobo koro I have strength, I have wisdom, therefore it will happen to me with ease. It will happen to me, oh Lord, it will happen to me quickly because I have strength, because I have wisdom, because the Lord is the one working in my life, because I ask according to his will, because my prayer is heard in heaven. It will happen very soon. Now, now oh God, the things are moving for my favor. Things are moving around me. Something is moving. Something is changing. I see the glory of the Lord. Something is moving. As soon as I was in labor, in Jesus' name we pray. Two scriptures Isaiah 26, verse 17, and Luke 2, verse 4 to 7. Isaiah 26, verse 17. As a woman with child is in pain and cries out in her pants when she draws near the time of her delivery. One of the things that can make delivery easy is timing. When it is the time to deliver, the only thing that must happen is delivery. There's no other thing. Because it's time. Luke 2 verse 4 to 7 said, they came for census and the time for Mary to deliver came. The fact that we did not have a good place became secondary. Because when timing comes, the every other thing that you have given as excuse is made invalid. Say it's my time to bring forth. Prophesy over your life. You know, time is working for my favor. It's the time, 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 it's the time. Favor is working for me. Wisdom is working for me. Strength is working for me. Timing is working for me. Time is working for me. I didn't come at the wrong time. God brought me to this time. God time are in the seasons are in the hand of God. My times are in God's hand. My times are in God's hand. My times are in God's hand. Father, we are not running the race of other people. We are running the race of what we have come into is our time. 
we are not doing it because others are doing it we are doing it because it's the time and so because it's the delivery time Lord the process must be easy we move from ease to ease we move from strength to strength because we are working in right timing in the name of Jesus we move from ease to ease because we are doing it in the right time oh the time to fail for Zion has come yeah the set time yeah the set time yeah the set time we command the atmosphere and the time to work together for our good for the set time to favor us has come the strength has come the wisdom has come the travel has come in the name of Jesus Christ no more delay our eyes will see the glory of the Lord In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Exodus 1 15 to 19, Pharaoh said to the midwives, When you are tending to the Hebrew woman, if they give birth to a son, kill it. If they give birth to a daughter, keep it alive. But this the Bible said these people fear the Lord. And, when, and so they kept the children. So when they asked them, why did you say? They said, because the Hebrew women are not like Egyptian women. It's not, norm, it's not the normal. That you see it happen in some places in a way does not mean that is the way it must happen to you. There is a difference between women and women. It is not just look. It's not even anatomy. There is a frame inside of you. Yes. I, you are in the world, but you are not of the world. You breathe oxygen like they breathe, but you have a hope they don't have. The Hebrew women are not like the Egyptian. Father, make a difference in my life. Faith makes a difference because I launch unto you. Let faith make a difference. Let faith make a difference. Let faith make a difference. Let the covenant make a difference. I respect, oh God, unto the covenant. I respect unto the covenant. Have 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 respect unto the covenant over my life. Have respect, Lord God, unto the covenant. Have respect unto the blood of Jesus. Have respect unto the covenant in the name of Jesus. If we pray in His name, you hear us. Some people will repeat and repeat, but when we just pray in His name, there is a difference between the Hebrew and the Egyptian. There is a difference between covenant people and people that don't have covenant let the difference begin to show even in Nigeria I dwell in the same economy but I have a covenant oh Saraboga I have respect unto the covenant I have respect unto the covenant oh Shakalaba Inabo Shakalaba oh Shakalaba. Oh, Ramaka Shekede. Oh, Ramalaba Laba Laba Labo Shede. Angre Ni Soko Tolobo. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Psalm 74, verse 20. Psalm 74, verse 20. It reads, Have respect to the covenant. For the dark places of the earth are full of horns of cruelty. The word have respect is what in the Hebrew is to regard it. Lord, regard your blood in my life as a reason for difference. Have respect unto the covenant. Regard, Lord, your grace. Lord, not of works, but of grace. Let it be evident that I'm not a product of works. I am a product of grace. Let grace begin to speak in a different way. Have respect unto the covenant, O God. Have respect unto the covenant, O God. Arama Shada, have respect unto the covenant, Lord. Oh Lord, over fetches assembly. Have respect unto the covenant, Lord. Don't let us enter the pool of the confused, the pool of the struggling, the pool of the people that are that distressed. Have respect unto the covenant. Let grace be different from works. Let grace be evidently different from works. Have respect on the covenant. 
in this house have respect unto the covenant in jesus name we pray covenant is so different exodus 1 verse 11 and 12 said when pharaoh afflict israel they multiply normal people diminish when there is affliction but covenant people multiply when there is affliction that because that's the covenant lord no matter the crushing effect around me i multiply have respect unto the covenant raise your voice and pray for yourself tonight Raskapandos kapada. my faith is fresh i am strong in power strong in faith strong in the anointing i'm strong there's nothing that has happened that's made me weak i am multiplying i'm growing i'm growing our church is growing our church is growing others might be living but our own church is full others might be living but men are coming to be fed because lord even when the affliction multiply in the land that's when we multiply as a people that's when we multiply as a people in the mighty name of jesus this is the covenant we see it we bring it to pass in jesus name we pray in, uh, in matthew 6 7 and 8 and isaiah 65 23 and 24 we check those two scriptures matthew 6 7 says when you pray do not use vain repetitions as the hidden do that's why prayer to them when they told the the professor bar to pray you know how he became a serious problem that telling them maybe he's sleeping it is men trying to break into the spirit but to you is god coming into you that's why we pray from a different position so when you pray don't use very repetitions like the hidden do the platform of prayer of the hidden is different from the platform of prayer of the believer are you hearing me yes, for the thing they will be hard for their many words therefore do not be like them do you know why for your father knows the things you need before you ask him that's why i said it's from his to his you are not the one trying to tell god the gravity of your situation he knows it where you want to add he knows it in a way you don't even know you don't even have the right words to, de to describe what you are going through to oh god because there's a way god knows what you are going through that you don't know are you following me so it is the world that tries to present the weight of their experiences to god it is god who is even helping you to speak about what you need for we do not even know how to pray or how we should pray it's the holy spirit that help us we will come into a different experience wherever prayer and standing in the presence of god has become a body wherever prayer and standing in the presence of god has become a body because we have gone in the way of the hidden the lord will take that yoke from your shoulder this is your own experience isaiah 65 verse 23 and 24 somebody said this is my own experience they shall not labor in vain nor bring forth children for trouble for they shall be descendants of the blessed of the lord and their offspring with them it shall come to pass that before they call i will answer why they are still speaking this is my experience you didn't get what i'm saying it means when i'm trying to explain it the other side understands it more than what i'm saying all i need to say is god do you know this god will say let me explain to you you don't get it one woman went to god he said lord why is it if all things are well why is, am i having a rumbling in my spirit that is in, in my belly then the lord sat down and began to explain what he brought to god heaven knew 
Even in greater detail, do you know what heaven told? There are two babies in you, and there are two nations, and they are different from one another, and they will be separated from one another, and the younger, the and the older will serve the younger. I mean, the details of our body known in heaven was more than what she was saying. God, they are. They are, that's why when you are going to God, you are going to somebody who knows, who knows, do what you know is the best for me. I release myself to your hand, Lord, walk from the other side. Hear the bodies of your church, hear the bodies of your people, hear the bodies of your people, hear us over our health, hear us over our church. This church must grow, this church must fulfill its destiny, this church must raise well sufficient. Ministers that have the sufficiency of the Spirit of God. You know what we are talking about. You gave us the body. You know what you are talking about. You gave us the vision. Therefore, Father, begin to release the resources for the fulfillment of the things you are put in our heart. You know, Lord, how many people we need to send to school. You know, Lord, what's happening in our family. Lord, therefore, let answers come forth from your presence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As I'm talking now, Lord, let answers begin now. When they are still speaking, I will answer them. Let answers, Lord, do not even wait for the end of this prayer. Let answers start now. Rasha Kabala Bosata, Raka Santo Raboko Shaba. Answers. Answers. I receive answers. Hansa, 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 from heaven, my answer, my answer, from heaven, say answer, Hansa, 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 from heaven, my answer, my answer, from heaven, I'm going on with my answer, Hansa. The answer of this church has come. from east to east. The first east is not like you don't have a situation. But you know why it's easy? It's because you have faith. So faith makes it look like nothing. But you know the next answer is not just because you have faith. It's because you have result. Yes. And you are qualified for the two levels of east. Yes. You are qualified to have rest because you have faith. Yes. And you are qualified to receive because you believe. Yeah. Are you following me? Yeah. And on all sides, all that is saying to you is answer. Yeah. I say it's answer. Yeah. You are going to prophesy that song and prophesy that song over your life. Say answer, answer, answer from heaven. My answer, my answer from heaven. I receive my answer.
Holy Spirit, everybody. Pray the Holy Ghost. Rabo koshata lava. Raka sako do boko sako lava. Reka shaka lava ro toka lava. Hilo boko lobo sako lobo kola boko lava. Answer, 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 answer. Answer, 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 answer. Whether it's a scripture is coming to your spirit. Whether it's a question, you are receiving answers. Whether it's a situation, you are receiving answers. Rasakada. When we pray according to his will, we know he hears us. He will restore what has scattered. He will gather it together. you because you need a new anointing. You need him to ask and to be heavy upon your life. Answer, answer, answer. He knows who we are. He will go before us. Answer for Nigeria. Answer, 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 answer. Lord, answer, Lord. This is our own experience. Shado go shado do do. Arakasaka lava. Haro ko shokodi. Answer for Fetress Assembly and Street. It's a new season. It's a better season. It's a greater season. It's a new lifting. It's a new anointing. It's a new level of favor. It's a new level of surprise. It's a new level of surprise. Answers from heaven. That's what we have. Shanto Rokosha. The way we are remembered before the Lord is a surprise. We are receiving strange surprises that our prayers have been answered. Answers. In the name of Jesus. Shandolo Boko Shode. Hirome Ketanaba. Strangers shall hear my voice and depart out of their hiding places. These are living bodies of people. If you have any affliction in your body, this is a moment where it will depart. Raise your voice and begin to pray. Every stranger moving across my body, moving in my system. I don't know how you came, but the way you came is the way you are living. The way you came is the way you are living. Suddenly you disappear from my household, from my mind, from my blood, from my brain, from my leg, from my liver. From my intestines, you are disappearing. From my children, Rano Sokoba, every stranger, hear the voice of the Lord. Be gone, be gone, be gone. Arobo Kosha, Arabakasha, Eramakaboshaka. In the name of Jesus, every strange report be gone. In the name of Jesus, every lack of strength be gone. In the name of Jesus, you 
what you must say, tell it all, must say, the things you used to do that work, you are not doing it and it's as if it's not working. I command that stranger to disappear. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Rasakata Masa, Rambra Katomba Labayada, Ereke Sando Loboya. Every stranger be gone. In Jesus' name we pray. There's another stranger coming. Did we not throw three men in the fire? I see four. I see four. Lord, in ways I've not seen you before. Let your hand be visible now. In every situation I'm facing, step in as a participant. Step in as a partner. Step in as a partner. The devil is gone. The Lord has come. The devil is gone. The Lord has come. The spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. The spirit of the Lord came upon David. The spirit of the Lord came upon David. Thank you, Lord. Because your people are seeing a new level of partnership with the Lord like never before. A new level of partnership in their meditation, in their prayer, in their thanksgiving. A new level of partnership in the fortress assembly. A new level of God's jealousy. A new level of anointing. A new level of miracles. Lord, we welcome it. Come in, surprise us. We walk into divine surprises. Before we ask, we will, ask, we will receive answers. New level of divine surprises is our portion. Is our description. Serenolemokosha. Ramokorobada. I have the answer. Give him thanksgiving. Give him praise for moving from east to east. Peace to peace. You are praised, Yahweh. Yahweh takes what she is for you. Oh, my God. 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 O
I've come back into confidence. East to east. When the devil knocks again, I'll just go back. I, I know you always hear me. I know you always hear me. I know you always hear me. And I know when you hear me, you answer. So what am I troubled for? Upon this day, and before my trouble is I shall not be afraid. Because as long as that is Jackie, there will always be a day. I say, I shall not be afraid. I call upon him. I call upon him. of faith, they are coming to tomorrow's service with a special thanksgiving of faith. Because you are moving from east to east. He said, why are you not troubled? He said, I've prayed. He said, why are you smiling? Because I've received answers. I'm moving from east to east. Are you following me, church? Come with such level of expectation tomorrow morning. Come with an appropriate offering. I just thank the Lord so that your prayer will not become the platform of anxiety. He said, continue endlessly in prayer, but what be watchful with thanksgiving. Are you blessed today? He said, we receive strength. Everyone that ministered tonight will release strength today. In the name of Jesus, strength will multiply in any way. Everyone, the music team, the prayer leaders, the prayer team, everyone that came here tonight to stand in the prayer of the Lord, let your strength be renewed. They go from strength to strength. As many that appear before the Lord in Zion, receive strength in the name of Jesus Christ. So tonight, go home with confidence. Come back with testimony.